How's it going on everybody? It is Tuba Split and welcome back to Life is Strange Before the Storm, but this time, bonus episode. Farewell. It seems like it's all about Max and Chloe. I was actually trying to remember what happened at the end of, uh... I was actually trying to remember what happened at the end of here with Rachel. But I don't think it actually got explained. From what I remember. I could be wrong. I don't remember. <laughs> I'll have to go back at the end of my last stream and watch it. On YouTube. Because I don't remember. But here we go with Farewell. And I'm guessing this has to do with Max and Chloe. Before Max left. Ready? I guess. But isn't your mom gonna freak? She's probably cooking with the radio on. She won't hear a thing. I bet she'll notice a hole in the floor. Trust in science, Max. Even when science means blowing shit up. Oh, we're playing as Max. Okay. That was truly amazing. Why are explosions so awesome? That's like asking, why are puppies cute? Some things just are. Um, I'm not sure your mom would see it that way. When she asked me to get rid of my old junk, she never specified how. But I guess I better do some actual cleaning too. I'll be excavating the closet. If you see anything else to trash, help a girl out and chuck it on the pile over there. But is this... Is this before or after Chloe's dad passes away? I wonder. It's like I've spent half my life hanging out in this room. <laughs> Probably because I have. I can't believe those days are all over. Yeah, is this before or after William dies? My whole family moves to Seattle. I have no idea when I'll see Chloe again. This could be my last chance to say goodbye. But how do you tell your best friend that you're leaving her? Every time we play doesn't make it trash. <laughs> That's BS. The last time we played, I wiped the floor with you. Poor Max. Losing your memory at such a young age. Guess we'll have to play again soon and find out. Is that like sorry? That's what it looks like. <laughs> Uh. Chloe's had this hung up on her wall forever, but neither of us can figure out what happened to the last panel. I hope Dr. Chloenstein's okay.
Whoa. Talk about embarrassing. How about these boy band trading cards? Super cringeworthy. Yeah, and hilarious. Remember when we gave them all makeovers? You mean when you drew boobs on all of them? I was so mad at you. And yet, our friendship lived on. So too will these cards. Hmm. Well then, what are we throwing out, Chloe? <laughs> As usual, Chloe's grades are better than mine. I still kick her butt in PE, though. Wow. This is oh, junior high. It's not the um thing. I bet Chloe's parents were freaking out when she got this letter. Blackwell. I still can't believe you're a Blackwell Academy student. How is it? Oh, the classes are incredible. The teachers are actually smart. And the lab is legit. Petri dishes for days. I'm guessing this is before her students? dad died. Are they as stuck up as you thought they'd be? They're fine. Chloe seems upset about something, but I don't want to pry. Maybe I'll get it out of her later. Hey, what's your dad's camera doing in here? Dad said I could bring it up here for you to use. Okay, He's tired of so watching he is awake. all over yourself every time he uses it. His force. Your dad is the best. Sure. Just don't ever tell him that. We need to keep him on his toes. <laughs> You're off to a great start. I think I jumped a little bit. <laughs> Actually, it's kind of cool. Menagerie of magic. This seems like a good candidate. Are you insane? That's my entire magic collection. Do you know how many weeks of allowance this cost? You haven't touched these since the fifth grade talent show. Maybe because my assistant turned out to be squeamish at the sight of fake blood. At least you didn't saw me in half. How are you planning to clean this place if you won't throw away anything? A magician never reveals her secrets. Put it back. That's what I was starting to wonder. Because that's what my mom always said when I was younger. Okay. I was trying to clean Whenever stuff I'm up. Ready, I can go tell Chloe I'm done arguing about trash with her. What is that? We bought this as a gag years ago. I honestly can't believe Chloe still has it. What is it? What about this half eaten oh. jawbreaker? A serious biohazard. You promised me we'd finish it together no matter how long it took. Don't be. <sighs> You're right. Yes! The never ending candy lives on. Mm -hmm. Chloe's been beating me for a while, but that growth spurt could come any day now. You better not be thinking what I think you are. Chloe, I haven't seen you touch this guy in years. Why do you care? Why do I care if you throw my beloved childhood friend into the trash? 
I don't think that deserves an answer. <laughs> Sorry, chum. That's better. <laughs> okay. Well, now it's time to talk to Chloe. That's it. I'm calling off the search. If you want more trash, you'll have to find it yourself. Well, it wasn't exactly the purge mom was hoping for, but at least we tried, right? Right. And now we've got the whole day ahead of us. What do two under-supervised friends with clean rooms and clean slates want to get into today? I guess now would be a good time to tell Chloe I'm leaving. Or I could let us enjoy the day first and tell her later. Let's tell her now. Actually, that rather than Chloe, I leaving a bad really impression, have to tell you something, which I feel like happened it's, in the first episode of the first I, series. Don't know how Holy to. Shit, Max pulled that thought. This must have fallen out when I was digging around in here. Do you have any idea what this is? Mixtape. Whatever it is, it looks like it came out of our pirate phase. Your powers of deduction are as strong as ever. This tape is from five years ago. It's a message from our past selves to our current selves. Oh so boy. We're eight years old? That's crazy. I can't even imagine what we sounded like. Ready to find out? The audio log of the most fearsome pirates in the bays of Arcadia. <laughs> <laughs> Captain, Captain Bluebeard, Bluebeard and Long Max Silver. You were such so, You're in search of buried treasure, are ye? Well, if it's treasure ye seek, in mine eyes spot two fair pirate wenches. <laughs> what? Get <laughs> away! We're in the middle of an important project. Oh, a project. Never mind then. I, I mean it! All right, all right. Supper's in five. Wash your hands, you grubby pirate kids. <laughs> so lame. <laughs> As I was saying, <laughs> if it's treasure you seek, you come to the right place. But be forewarned. The journey will be treacherous and full <laughs> of treachers. Nice. To find the treasure of Price Isle, you will need the map from the manuscript. Captain Bluebeard. Only the map can lead ye to the treasure ye seek. But be forewarned. Uh, again, only those <laughs> with pure hearts will be able to see what the amulet shows them. The amulet. <laughs> Good luck. And. Uh. Bye. <laughs> Dude. That was hilarious. We were so, so ridiculous. We still are, Max. <laughs> we still are. Okay, okay, forget everything. Today, we go treasure hunting. I think I know what eight-year-old you meant by the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Sketchbook. This is where we kept all our pirate drawings. Yep. Now let's see this map. Keep out, Mom. Hey. Bane of Arcadia. Crow's Nest. Treasure Keep. Cannons. Galley. Cockpit. <laughs> Pogo. The gang. Pirate rules. No bathing. No boys on the ship. No sharing pirate secrets. Always share plunder. Always bury treasure. Always protect fellow pirates. Failure to obey these rules will result in plank walking. I mean, this looks yeah. like a page was ripped out. I wonder if it's the map. Hey, check this out. 
This page was ripped out. Do you think it's the map? If it is, there's no way I would have thrown it out. Maybe it's mixed in with the rest of the drawings? So much for telling Chloe now. <laughs> All she cares about is finding this map. Chloe and I were doing a lot of drawing in Miss Shelley's class. I wonder if the map is mixed in with her school supplies from that year. Don't move. This angle is perfect. Why be shy? Get in here, dude. Subject and photographer. You really do it all, Max. <laughs> I try. Secret Lair, Dark Cavern, Treasure Island, Price Castle. I'm remembering this now. Didn't we make some crazy puzzle? You need the telescope and the amulet, which we hid inside a dark cavern, aka the attic. Ugh, why did we do that to ourselves? Because we were eight years old and the attic was the scariest place we could think of. You think it's still there? Should be. As long as the clean police haven't gotten to it first. Okay, and once we have the amulet and the telescope, we use them to reveal the treasure. Somehow. Here's what's happening. I'll head to the garage to dig up my old telescope. You go find that amulet. We'll meet out back at the pirate ship. You mean the swings? Yes, the pirate ship. Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver right again, bitches! I'll find a way to tell Chloe later. If this has to be my last day here, might as well have one final pirate adventure. Okay, Chloe said she hid the amulet in the attic. The only way in is through the broom closet. But the attic had the top down, like, and you pull down from the ceiling, but apparently not. Here it is, the dark cavern. Crap. I can't get into the attic if I can't even reach the door. I need to find something to stand on. I'm sure I can find something around here to boost me up. That's not going to be enough. I don't think. Okay. Nope. It's a start. I gotta find something I can stack on top of it. great for acting in Halloween costumes. Any other time, I just don't get it. I guess Chloe never really grew out of wanting to be a pirate. Behavior. Did Chloe get into a fight? 
She never gets in trouble. I'm glad her dad stood up for her. A voicemail? I wonder if it's still there. Sometimes I really wish I had siblings. Chloe hasn't mentioned a trip. Maybe it's supposed to be a surprise. Oh, so cool. Chloe is such a nature nerd. I bet she's gonna love it. that Chloe's mom wants to teach kids. She'd be really good at it. Most strikes? <laughs> How can that be so cool and so dorky at the same time? Oh, Chloe's parents are so cute. Just need a few more inches. It seems like Chloe's dad always has a project around the house. Oh. I think that should be tall enough. That's not really secure. <laughs> Books could just slip right under. Looks like Aerosmith on that poster in the back. stuff up here. How will I ever... There it is. Of course Chloe hid the amulet in the hardest place to get to. I need to find a way through. I remember it took this thing like a hundred years to rewind the land before time. Damn, the land before time. Her parents couldn't part with this. I guess I see where Chloe gets her sentimentality from. That's kind of an ugly looking chair, isn't it? I think I can squeeze through now. Not a big attic. And again, they're not supposed to be like 10 feet tall or anything. Country record. These must belong to Chloe's mom. Okay, how... How do we get to the amulet? Fish tank... That's full of decorations Chloe made when she was five. She thinks they're embarrassing, but it's a good thing I'm big and burly. Otherwise, moving this furniture would be kind of difficult. Hmm. 
So I wonder if her parents aren't like, what's going on up there? I guess. I wish I could remember how it works. Power symbol behind my head. <laughs> Watching me up there, Creeper? <laughs> you are one of a kind, Chloe Price. What? <sighs> I'm lucky you're my best friend. That's all. Damn right you are, you mushy weirdo. You find the amulet? Awesome. Now get your ass down here. We have treasure to find. <laughs> On my way. No big deal. Bring the amulet over here so I can see. Chloe is so excited. I better bring her the amulet before she makes me walk the plank. Hey, Chloe. Yar. Land ho. Perfect. Wait just a minute. Yarr! You must ask permission before setting foot. Er, peg. 
on another captain's boat. <laughs> and I'm the dark. <laughs> Permission to come aboard, Captain Bluebeard? Grrr! One amulet coming right up. Okay, uh, I, th I think it goes. <sighs> Damn it. I forget how to make this stay on. Stay here. I'll find something to hold it on. <sighs> Thanks, Max. Time to stick the amulet to the telescope. Then that treasure is ours. The heck? Oh. Chloe and I have done lots of homework at this table. It's so weird we're at different schools now. Oh, they're a pet. A cat. I've spent so much of my life here. Every little corner is familiar. Comforting. Ball. These or games something. we're playing. Buried pirate treasure from our past selves. Is this all selfish of me? Why is this making me feel more guilty about leaving? How am I going? What's up, dude? Bro. Don't you mean, sis? Maybe I meant nerd. Dork. Punk. Punks are cool. I figured she was going to react like that. I knew it. Because <laughs> that's how she becomes is a punk. What? Chloe Price. You're the freaking best. That's all. Hmm. Talk about mushy. Where'd that come from? It's just thinking about how awesome this day is and how awesome we are. Okay, enough of this shit. There's treasure to be unburying. My greatest work of art. I call it <laughs> how I lost my magnifying glass privileges. <laughs> Great art is never appreciated. So what are we supposed to go back inside or no? Why oh yeah, there's stuff I over here. here to hold the amulet on? Ah. Okay, Score. I did not realize that all the way over One there. Step closer to getting that treasure. Whatever it is. If you told me this morning that we'd be spending the day as pirates, I would have thought you were crazy. Yeah, I probably look like a loser, huh? Yeah. Totally. But we're losers together. If you're a loser, Max, I don't think I want to be cool. It's just... This whole day has made me feel like a little kid again. I can't believe we were eight and nine when we planned this. I can. This tiny kid's head is squeezing the shit out of my head. <laughs> <laughs> well, treasures don't find themselves. Lead the way. Avast, lady. Have you brought me prize? Ahoy, Bluebeard. 
I have brought the stickiest tape in all the seven seas. Well done, fellow scallywag. Just like old times. Huh, Max? Remember how we used to talk about ruling the bays of Arcadia one day? We thought we were gonna be pirates forever. If being a pirate means acting silly and going on crazy adventures together, then we'll always be pirates. Hell yeah. Would you like to do the honors, Long Max Silver? Me? Are you sure? Of course. Come on, navigator. Point me to some treasure. Wait. How am I supposed to use this? The drawing on the lens. It should line up with something. Here goes me. Okay. Oh, excuse this me, you got burps. Is supposed to line up with something. Wait. It's not the other way, is it? I think the drawing should turn the real world into something piratey. I think I have the right angle, but where does it line up? I don't know. <laughs> Wish I could. I don't know. Or. Got it. Okay. Oh, yes! You rock! <clears throat> Where is it? Here? Okay, take a step left. No, wrong way. You said left. Your other left. Go the other way. The other way to my other left? Oh my gosh. Just go. That way. Perfect. Now come towards me. Bingo. What are we going to find? Something already. What the? That is not what we buried. Some sort of canister? I think it said like dad's canister or something. Grizzly Doodad? Let's open it. From Bloody Bill? From Bloody Bill. Who's that? Oh, he took it. Oh, get the tape layer. It's her dad that he played along. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Chloe's dad is such a goofball. <laughs> Ahoy there, plank walkers! <laughs> it's me, Buddy Bill, the Pirate King. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> By now, you 
you'll have seen that I dug up your treasure, which would normally make us mortal enemies. But hear me out. I haven't pilfered a thing. On the contrary. I figured you swashbucklers might not be back to your loot for some time, so I've given it extra protection from the winds and rain. I'm sure you're excited to open your time capsule, so I won't go on too long. Just know that Bloody Bill is bloody proud of you. Both of you. <laughs> Keep those sails trimmed and that anchor scrubbed, and always remember... The real treasure is... Friendship. Love. Your Oregon State prepaid college savings plan. <laughs> <laughs> Her dad was awesome. <laughs> huh, yeah. I guess it probably would have been ruined underground. Her dad was Congrats. awesome. It's Billy the Squid! He's alive! Oh, man! It really is like a time capsule. No way! Chloe, look at this. We wrote each other letters. <laughs> oh, I remember these. Chloe Price. Thanks, Max. <laughs> I hope you are having a lot of fun being a teenager with your best friend. Aw, you are so cute. <laughs> Check it out. Ugh, Maxine. How are you doing? You're Chloe. How are you doing today? I'm doing very well. It's Friday, June 27th, 2013. It's uh, summer vacation. We are making a time capsule for you and me in the future. We are making it pirate themed. Wasn't it hilarious to find the... These are some of... Some things we like. Favorite animal, Arabian horse, Max, Otter, Chloe. Favorite food, lobster roll, Max, coffee, ice cream, Chloe. Class in school, art or library, Max, science, Chloe. Best friend, each other, both. How about you? Are you age 12 or more? What are your favorite foods, movies, etc.? That's it for now. I hope you are having a lot of fun being a teenager with your best friend. Sincerely, Maxine Caulfield. How about mine? What did I write? This is so Chloe. <sighs> Dear Maxine, hello from 2003. Here is a re record of how we spent our days. Can you guess which one is real? We go to the same school and always stay together at lunch. Duh. We have sleepovers at least once a week. We like extremely salty pretzels. We're in a race to see who can convince your parents to get a pet first. We are going to live together when we can afford it and use only gold paint we have battled many foes and never failed to save each other what did you guess if you guess all of them you're right your friend forever Chloe Elizabeth Price you were really sweet oh man I was really goopy I like it that's because you're a goop this is so cool. There's so much to look at. Is your mom going to mind about this mess? Dunno. I thought they'd be home by now. Max, remember scratch art? Oh, I love this stuff. I'm gonna draw something. Wait. All these memories. I want to look at everything. This container looks like it could last a hundred years. I Holy crap. Just it's the end of that comic in Chloe's room. Oh, this is gross. Wait. These are awesome. Chloe's always been good at making up cool things to do. Uh, I just I thought of something. Is such a <laughs> Most of these are pretty far off base. It's so hard to for the future. the future. Maybe it's better to enjoy the present instead. 
We'll still we'll hang out with each other more than any other person. Both of us are medium popular. Both of us are dating our second boyfriend. We do not make decisions without consulting each other. Both of us have a pet. Chloe has visited our Antarctica. Max could have come if she wanted. One of us has a little sister or brother. We are doing well in school. It actually might. Is writing once a week too often? I run out of things to say. Oh. I'm gonna look at the tape player again. It's not gonna let me. It's good to see you, old friend. I. Because of that last bit of dialogue. There are no mistakes. I just realized that I think I might know what is going to happen. I wonder if that's the voicemail Chloe's mom was talking about. She did say she didn't want Chloe to hear it, but if Chloe's in trouble at Blackwell, this might be my only chance to get her to talk about it. No, we'll skip that. Chloe and I have been friends for so long. Oh, that's Maybe cute. I'm worried Cookie too much sandwich. about this move changing things. That's cute. A witch? Hamster and a dresser? Oh, lion witch in the wardrobe. Oh, wow. <laughs> Guess I should try talking to Chloe again about my news. I'm I can do that after I finish looking at everything. I kinda think I might know You're what's gonna happen. Hog. Move over. Nope. I can't talk to Chloe from here. the masterpiece working on the last bit how about you done with the time capsule <laughs> yeah I think so well perfect because now I'm finished check it out this is so silly Jesus jawbreaker is gonna last forever <gasps> this jawbreaker is going to last forever just like our friendship Oh, Chloe, you were really drawing me that whole time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mushiness alert. <laughs> Keep it together, Max. I guess now's my chance to tell Chloe I'm leaving. I have a bad feeling. We might not be alone again once her parents get back. Hey, ready for something else? I've got a great plan for the afternoon. Crap. I don't want to ruin the rest of the day. You're staying for dinner, right? Would Chloe even want me to tell her? She didn't seem to want to talk about anything serious upstairs. Max? It's just Seattle. I'm probably overstressing about the whole thing. Right? I think I know. Oh boy. Chloe? Max? I want to tell you something. Okay. I'm, um... My family's moving to Seattle. Really 
Sie. Hey. In three days, right? What? You knew that? Our parents do talk, you know? But they said I should be the one to tell you. They still told my parents. I guess mom and dad were trying to keep quiet too, but they're bad at hiding anything.
and so much other stuff. You don't deserve any of this. Chloe, listen. Even if I never, even, even if we're moving for good, we are always together, okay? Even when we're apart, we're still Max and Chloe. I will always, always love you. <sighs> Goodbye. Wow. That's farewell. I mean, obviously, going into it, it had to be about Max leaving. Um, but then, like, when Chloe said that she's surprised that her mom and dad weren't back yet and then the light bulb went off like uh oh not good not good not good so well there is no really major choices to make well that's that that's farewell in a double kind of sense um when I do put this on YouTube it will be it's gonna be really weird how this will be put on my YouTube channel that this will go before this will go before Awake Brave New World and Hell is Empty and then Obviously, this, because it's a prequel, it will go before the main series, so... Time-wise, none of this makes any sense if you're watching this in order on YouTube. This makes absolutely no sense. But believe me, if you watch it, it will make sense in due time. Just right now, it makes no sense. So, again, that's farewell. I am... I'm really glad I've played all of these games, all these episodes and both games so far. I'm looking forward extremely to the next one whenever that may be. Uh, I, I just think this this series has amazing storytelling um, and writing and stuff. It's just an amazing series and I love it. Um, probably one of my favorite series of all time. Uh, but uh, anyway, thank you everybody so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.